Hey everyone, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Saving Please Do Not Remove Memory Card. I mean, Gran Turismo 2. Um, yeah, uh, we are still sort of drunk with power slash awesome new cars and stuff. And uh, I'm still not quite in a place where I can use them especially well. Um, well kind of. I mean, I've done some stuff with that Denso Super GT. Um, but anyway... Let's, uh, let's try... Let's try something a little special, shall we? A little special. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go to the garage. We're gonna pick up our friend, the Speed 12. We're gonna get in. It's our new car. It's my new jam. Wait. Let me read up on, uh... They sort of claim it's a racy car already, so... Maybe I should see if they've done... Quote-unquote modifications to it. Full racing transmission and full customized suspension. What they leave out is... Whether it has racing slicks on it. And if it doesn't, I think I'd like it to. Um, so let's go to North City with the British are and the Germans. Is it Germans? Okay. They're not all on one side or the other of that river in the map, though. That's interesting. Let's pick up some racing slick tires. Oh, we already have them. It just didn't mention it. Okay. We're not going to do it, but we're going to look at what the racing modifications would look like. I believe in this game, it's still possible to race modify any car. I might be wrong, though. Um, Well, let's start with Grindelwald. It's been a while since I've raced at the Autumn Ring, and I remember it has at least one humdinger of a carousel, um, which is just the kind of place where a car that has too much power will spin endlessly. So let's not do that right away. Let's at least attempt to drive the car someplace where we might be able to deal with it. Nice N.A. tuned cars, dickwads. It doesn't even sound like an engine note, it just sounds like... It just sounds like hellacious noise. Okay, don't turn and accelerate at the same time is the take-home note of this car. Holy wow. Honestly, if you can avoid accelerating at all outside of, uh... First gear? I mean, jeez! Alright, yeah, just don't be uh, accelerating and turning at the same time. I think you're mostly okay. It actually has uh, quite extraordinary brakes as well.
Oh, don't hit me! This thing is already dancing on the head of a pin. Hitting me is just cruel. Not as cruel as bringing an 800 horsepower V12 car to... What, what the fuck? Get away! Literally driving as though I were not there. Spinning me around. And I was just trying to concede how, yes, I am being cruel by bringing this car, but this is the ultimate NA tuning championship challenge thing. And this is the ultimate... Like it or not, this is the ultimate NA tuned car. Yes, I'm sure they're all about carrying speed into those corners. And no, would you please not all pass me right now? You know, if that's the game we're playing right now... What, the stand in a procession game? Alright, come on. Gotta build back up. Out of the way, MR2. Alright, you, Dot on the Horizon, get back here. You're not crossing that finish line before me. Dang it, you did! For the amount of power it has, it's actually very well behaved. It just has too much power. What I'm going to try next is that very same race, but I'm going to try changing the handling characteristics of the car. And the way that I'm going to do this is by... No, actually, I kind of like the way that it handles, though. With the exception of the fact that it spins out. That it loses all of its traction. Hang on a second. There's something I can do about that, though, isn't there? I'm going to go to the dealership again. There's another thing that I want to do. Tune. For others, for professionals. TCS, for adjusting the traction control system. 50 grand? I don't know about that. Yes, it's one-tenth the price of the car, or the cost of the car. I know, I know. But I was honestly very close to being able to win that race. Uh, phooey. Let's see, 394, 690. What do I have in my garage right now that will uh, be to the task of that? What does that Mines Lancer look like? 413. It's actually not that great for those. It's a little bit too much for the lesser events and not enough for the uh, greater events. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. 
But I have so much money, I'm so close to being able to buy another cool car. Gonna try that speed 12 just one more time. Maybe two more times. Maybe several more times. Maybe this is all you're gonna see for the rest of this LP. Okay, so obviously none of those. And can't enter any of those. Compact car woke up. I should buy a muscle car, actually. I really should. All free horsepower formulas. And they're looking for you to buy classic American muscle. If I remember right. Let's look at let's look at what the uh what the cars are that they have racing there. I'll be a little bit just... I don't know... Like, it usually tries to sort of select the uh, entrance from a spe specified set of cars, and sometimes they will include... Plymouth Muscle Car. Dodge Charger. Dodge Charger. Muscle Car. Dodge Challenger. Okay. Plymouth GTX and the Plymouth Superbird. It's a ridiculous looking car. Okay, these are all muscle cars. <coughs> In the classic muscle car mold. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. For the next car that I buy, because I don't know that you just happen to randomly run across muscle cars. I don't think they just give those out. In this game... I will go ahead to go to the garage. Not the garage. What am I doing? I need to go to America Town. Buy some muscle. I need to buy me some muscle. Time to muscle up. Mmm. Now, I could get a... Wait a second, what is... Oh, they have specials. The Cobra Coupe. Pretty sweet. Kind of worth it million dollars. Series 1, meh. Not as much. Well, what are their regular models, then? Ah, the GT350 and the GT500. These are worth it, especially the GT350. Oh, hang on a second. Raven Black with gold. Also known as the Hertz rent a car scheme. Hertz actually rented uh, Shelby Cobras, um, and people go out and race them. Weird. You wouldn't think about something like that in this day and age. I don't know that they necessarily specifically condoned people racing them, but they sure did. The people went out and raced them, I mean. Not that they. And event. What do we got going on here? There's the Viper Festival of Speed. And the neon trophy. Pew pew. Neon beams of light. So eventually we'll need. Uh, eventually we'll need a neon. Neons have been much maligned in the modern day. But, uh. Haha, <laughs> Dodge Avenger. Very good friend of mine had, uh. A red Dodge Avenger. 140 horsepower. Yeah, it was, like. It sort of looks like it should be a fast, cool car, but it's, it wasn't really. Only 11500 for a Challenger. That's pretty darn good. What's wrong with it? Oh, it has a weak engine for a muscle car. Okay. 289 horsepower as opposed to the... My G four hundred some odd will get out of no three hundred eighty four, but still significantly more powerful muscle car. And interesting, interesting color schemes that they all have here. So yeah, the neon ACR and the neon RT actually not much difference in them in this game. Um, the ACR stands for. Well, let's see if they bring it up in this. 
But yeah, Nissan ACR yeah stood for American Club Racer, um, which was a stripped-out version that they used, that they sold for people to basically send out to showroom stock racing. Showroom stock being a category where you're basically supposed to take an out-of-the-showroom car and put a roll cage in it. Um, minimum modifications for your racing thing. But yeah, you can see. That's all fine and good. Um, and the old, the old Viper. Everybody remembers the old Viper, don't you? And Dodge Intrepids. They don't even make Dodge Intrepids anymore, folks. This is apparently just going to be another shopping video. I remember in 1993, I think it was, when the Dodge Intrepid was this huge, huge thing that was supposed to sort of transform the landscape of family cars and turn Chrysler into this, you know, aspirational vehicle or a vehicle that's competitive as opposed to just being sort of cheap again and all this craziness. But no, they really didn't get too much behind it in the end. Alright, Camaro Z28, those are pretty slick. Oh, you can't even get one in black. You get one in dusk blue with Dover white. That's pretty cool looking. Or a 427 Stingray. This will have a powerful, powerful engine in it. Yes, it will. Put that silver, tuxedo black, bonds of red, burgundy, Daytona yellow, Riverside gold, Fathom green, and Le Mans blue. You know what? Burgundy just seems to be... That's that's a late 60s, early 70s color. Um, let's go ahead and look at these. Yeah. It was the top performance offering from ranging from powerful to truly awesome in power output. Well, there you go. Awesome. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It was street legal, but it was really meant for the racetrack. There wasn't much soundproofing. The driver... As it were treated to a booming heavy metal symphony. Best handling production sports cars, but say, yeah, I mean these are these are pretty good. Um, those are pretty good cars. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go ahead and buy one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these. It may or may not be the most value price conscious choice that I could use for this uh, particular tournament but um, I want one and part of the reasons they're great you know they're good cars for this sort of thing another big thing is uh, the uh, the Apollo astronauts, folks. Um, those people who have traveled to the surface of uh, a, a celestial mass other than the Earth. A um, bunch of those guys all got matching uh, Corvettes of uh, roughly the same vintage. I think they all had convertibles, though. Um, and I saw one of them at the... Uh, Saw one of them once while I was on vacation in Florida. I went to the Kennedy Space Center. Let's see here. I'm not going to do racing modifications, but I'm interested in what they look like. The exposed headlamps. If I was going to do racing modifications, it would not be this blue. It would be this blue. It's a classic American racing sort of a getup. The uh, dark blue and white. Now then, having done all that, 
I am curious. Could I win the normal style Corvette meeting just having done that? Or would there be more I'd have to do? One important note is I probably, without investing in a full racing transmission, I probably will only have four gears. So that's something worth noting. Let's see what all kinds of Corvettes are here in this awesome race meeting. There'll be newer, fancier Corvettes. Probably some older ones, too. Jeez. So prone to spin out. Even with sticky tires. Now is my big chance to catch up some. And I did catch up some. Boy, this is just a loosey-goosey little car, isn't it? It handles really well up to a point, and then it just sort of all starts to flop around all crazy-like. Could use a firm suspension, but, you know, it's an antique. It's a product of its time. time when people weren't thinking like, hey, this car needs to reach 150 miles an hour. Now, the car that I'm passing on the left there is a, a late iteration C3 Corvette. Took the body style that was originated from right around this time and was the last iteration of it. They're generally frowned upon in uh, terms of... Uh, you know, uh, big Corvette fancy pantsy people now. But, uh... But I kind of like the look of them. Hey, hey! No! No! Oh, jeez! Rubbing up against the walls did it! Oh, man, I'm so close to being the best. I'm only number two. Which is as good as number two in terms of this race. I'm not saving the game. Gonna do another race. Gonna try this again, because we came really close. I don't know if it actually takes you to the same event every time. If it's always gonna be Grindelwald. Or if it's gonna just randomly put it in a different course. I'm curious now. I don't remember how this element of the game um, played out. Sure is doing a lot of thinking. Yeah, that was making me think maybe it would just put up a random racetrack. I don't know if Rome Short Course is going to be the place where this uh, particular Corvette would shine. Shine it! But, 
you know. What's interesting here is that um, I think recently it was the uh, I think this past year uh, marked the debut of the uh oh it's uh, Rome Shore Course backwards okay this will require a very steady hand Uh, introduced the seventh iteration Corvette, seventh generation, the C7. Um, this game basically still has the C4. What C4? <laughs> Which seems like forever ago now. Um, because of course the C4 generation itself lasted a very long time. The uh, C4 generation lasted about, let's see, from 1983 to 84, all the way up to 90, I want to say 5 or 6. But yeah, had a uh, more than a decade run. Basically, throughout my entire childhood, the uh, Corvette was largely unchanged. Um, at least the outside. They were making mechanical improvements, as they do to any of these cars. As time goes on. Nope. No passing. Yay! There we go. That's more like it. I guess this place was better suited to my little Corvette after all. I feel better now. So much better! But the, uh... Well, part of the reason for that was that, uh... Oh, really? Oh, right, right, right. I don't think I ever actually uh, reset this darn timer from uh, the first uh, event. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and exit here. And, um, there we go. We're going to collect our little bonus. It's going to be a little bonus. It's not a big bonus. We're not going to save the game. We're going to continue. We're going to head back out to the Gran Turismo menu so that I can save off camera after making sure that this recording took. You're starting to see the method to the way that I record these. Possibly. I don't know. Um... But okay, so we did that, and now that we have a pretty nice uh, little Corvette set up, um, I think I'm going to go take that to the muscle car event. There are some that would argue that um, the Corvette isn't really truly a muscle car, it's a sports car, but I think a larger number of people from America would say that any big horsepower car from the 60s from America was a muscle car. Um, you know. Believe whatever you wish to about it, um, but when we come back next time, we're actually going to start with an established goal in mind. We're going to go race the muscle car races with the fancy new Corvette I just got myself as present. Anyhow, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo's 2. Gran Turismo's. Let's play the Gran Turismo's on the PlayStation 3. Even though it's the game's for the PlayStation 1, I was confused. Anyways, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.